A stock option is a way to hedge against your long-term position to limit losses, but retail traders have begun to use it to maximize profits. Why would you spend $600 on one share of Tesla if you can buy a $600 out of money stock option and double it if the price moves 10% because Elon Musk tweeted? When you buy an option, you're paying a premium based on time and momentum. And its actual value is how much the stock moves past its strike price. Without a long-term position attached, this is gambling, not investing. Can we make money gambling on options? Probably not, but let's try anyways. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel that looks out for the little guy. My name is Jordan Shadowins, and today we are going to code a Python script that sends certain parameters up to E-Trade to get a stock's option chain data. So what you guys can do is open up PyCharm and first we're going to transfer over some code that we used before. If uh, you guys haven't been following along with other videos you can visit github my github and download the code there all right so now we are going to create a couple directories here the first directory we'll need to create is accounts and then the next directory that we are going to create is market and then again like we did with uh, the main.py file we are also going to take the account the accounts.py file from our previous project and again we are going to copy it over into this project so now that we have the accounts file copied over next we are going to have to start creating the market file and we're going to do the market file a little bit differently you can copy over the market file from previous uh, the previous project but we are going to actually create a new function for the for the market our, our market function so let's first create a class and we will call the the class mark market and then the first function in this class is we are going to initialize the session base URL and also the account information now if you didn't know this already the session the session um, for E-Trade can with one token can last up to I believe 24 hours so by uh, keeping the session throughout the throughout the uh, the application we can we don't have to renew it renew a token until our token expires after 24 hours and then the only other function that we will be 
creating here is we're going to create a get option chain function and the only variable that we're going to pass through this uh, this function is it's going to be the symbol in the base URL as you, you notice right here is going to be different from Sorry, I quite hear you. from you? A, a different uh, endpoint that we have used before in the past so to get the option data we're going to have to use the option change um, endpoint and of course we're going to want to get the data back in JSON so we'll put dot JSON at the end of the endpoint so the important thing to notice here is when calling the the option chain we can we can pass up symbols or a, a symbol as a parameter but we're going to get a ton of data back if we were to do that so eTrades API lets you pass up uh, other um, variables like the expiration year and the expiration month expiration day this will uh, help you limit what you're getting back from me trade and as you can see at the bottom I put the strike price near 675 and then the number of strikes too so what I should get back is a call option and put option data for 67 or 675 and 680 and so just and this is going to be just a weekly option so I'm, I'm just going to add the expiration day in there as well so we're just going to get this week's um, option data for the strike price of 675 680 for both the, the call and the put so if you go to eTrades API website and click on documentation you can go to the get option chains uh, tab and if you see right here here are the different parameters that you can pass up to filter your data out to get exactly what you want so if I were to put chain type call into the application right here for one of the parameters I would get back only the call option instead of getting back the call and the put so let's go ahead and add the chain type in and let's set chain type to call so now let's finish up this function with uh, sending the git request so we're going to pass up our parameters and then what we'll do is we'll set the response to to data and then we'll print out the response to see what type of data we get back from e trade
Then we're going to finally make our algorithm directory. And in the algorithm directory, we are going to create our init file. Then we're going to create our algorithm file. And this one we will call options dot pi. This file is going to be pretty simple. We're going to just create a class called options. We'll initialize the three variables that we need, the session account information and the base URL. And then what we'll do is we'll call the our market get underscore option chain function that we just created and then we'll pass through Tesla. And then we'll have to import our option class in our accounts uh, file. And then like we've been doing in previous applications on line 79 and 80, we'll that's where we'll call our our option start script function, which will then make the request to eTrade. Then we will copy over our config.ini file. And in here we will set our consumer key and consumer secret. And at this point, we can go ahead and run our main.py to see what type of information we get. And then you'll see option chain response. And the t if we can scroll over, you will see that we get a call option for 675 for the expiration date of August 20 for our weekly option and what will we will use later on to create our our option order is the bid price and the ask price so that's going to be it for this video. In the next video, we will be placing a, a order.